IoT is nothing but capturing sensors around you and generating a value out of the data that is captured and then helping your end customer or the user to derive some information out of it. That's IoT. Now coming to the question about IoT in rural area, if you go to a rural area in India, you might think that uh, one of the area where we will lack there is connectivity, both in terms of cellular and broadband and also of course other infrastructure resources, technology skill sets and things will be missing from there. More importantly, uh, corporates in IoT or even uh, I would say the startups, their focus will be mostly on urban area where they can make revenue but people won't go to rural area to actually implement solutions because the revenue is not very fast in there. So one of the biggest challenge to implement IoT in rural, rural India or I would say any rural region like whether Africa or Southeast Asia will be having a good reliable source of connectivity. Second challenge will be about how do you really implement a solution, uh, what kind of sensors you can deploy, whether they are uh, prone to resistance uh, to weather or whether they are resistance to dust and other kind of situations because typically if you go to a rural region there will be a lot of dust, there will be a lot of challenge of weather calamities and typically it will be an outdoor region that you have to deploy IoT solutions. So the second challenge will be having an infrastructure to deploy a solution. The challenges will be in connectivity and in finding the right source of hardware plus very 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 important the price point. You have to create a solution which is economically viable for our farmers to buy. So that, that will be very important that we have to build solutions which are economically uh, viable, affordable and also can work for a while. So now let's talk about what is going on on the ground. Uh, let's pick up some use cases and understand what are the solutions which are already selling in the market and farmers are adopting them. So one of the solutions that Ares as a company has already implemented in Africa, in Nigeria and Kenya, it's a solution called Hello Tractor. So one of the area where we found a lot of challenges was, was uh, actually how do you manage and track the tractor which is actually deployed on a field. So what we did is we created a solution where we do two activities. One, we deploy a small sensor inside the tractor that will, uh, that's like a GPS along with a motion sensor that can always tell you in real time where is the tractor, whether it is moving, whether it is stopped or whether it is actually outside the geofence of the farm. Okay, so that helps the owner and as the farmer to always know where is my tractor and whether it is functioning and actually being used efficiently. And it does not apply to tractors alone. It also applies to big machines which are used for harvesting wheat and uh, rice. Uh, these are very big machines. They go on harvesting automatically, but they can also be, they also need to be tracked because they are given mostly on lease. Uh, let's talk about second solution, which I have done myself and we have implemented it in Punjab. Uh, which was about uh, monitoring the uh, moisture inside the drums and the sacks. So you know what happens uh, when you harvest rice or wheat, they are typically stored for one full year. But when I store them, I need to always keep uh, a tracking of the health of the storage. There can be rodents, there can be pesticides. One of the biggest culprit is actually moisture. When, whenever a wheat or a rice catches, catches moisture, they can be attacked by rodents much faster because rodents can smell them. Uh, and I think it's very important for the owner and for the farmer to always know the moisture level inside the storage warehouse, whether it is a tank or a drum. And that's the solution we do. It's a very simple solution. It costs 120 rupees to buy this solution. It is available on Amazon. It's called VeroBot. What it does is basically it allows you to put that sensor inside the sack and you can actually get an alert on your SMS. I would like to touch on the last one, which is also very important. It's about uh, mushroom farming, mushroom and uh, flower farming. See, one of the very important aspect of uh, mushroom and flower farming is you have to pick them and pluck them at the right point of time. If you actually miss at the right point of time, the mushroom will get damaged very quickly. So we have created a solution. Uh, it's basically a small sensor that gets ingrained inside the mushroom uh, root, basically. It gets attached to the root or to the flower root and it actually monitors the time of the plucking through some biochemical values of the mushroom and it alerts the farmer that this is the right time to go and pluck it solution. So as I told you, it's not that we are not already doing IoT in India, in rural India, but it's, it's more about achieving a scale and if we have proper connectivity and the right sensors at the right price point, it can be achieved very easily.